I'm Dana Denha, and this is Art Fair Close-Up 2019. I'm here with Gloria McRoberts. She's a fiber artist here in the original Art Fair. So Gloria, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and what sort of led you to fiber? Okay, I was an art teacher in Kentucky, high school art, and uh, my background's glass. I've never had a weaving class, know nothing about weaving, and they wanted me to teach weaving. So I thought, well, I'll make up something. And so now this is 38 years into a made-up technique. That's why it's totally different. It's my technique and my concept. So it's not traditional in any way. So, yeah, so you kind of created it yourself, and then you were teaching other people it too, right? Well, by the time I started doing this, I was no longer teaching. Okay. So it's after teaching. Well, tell me a little bit about your process, because it is very unique. I Walking by, it really caught me. I had never seen anything quite like it before. Right. I use natural wool, undyed. And um, the process, it's different, whether it's a rectangle, circle, whatever, and I just make up how I make my trees. Uh, I wrap wire to make a tree, but the shapes and everything is just out of my head. Really? Uh -huh. Wow, that's amazing. And you seem, you have like sort of a dull color palette, but it really works for your subject matter. Do you kind of, is that what you're interested in? I use all, uh, I ins I'm nature inspired. So I use all natural wool. Mm -hmm. And I use natural themes. I do seascapes, don't have any right now, but you know, everything I do is from nature. Yeah, this year it's a lot of trees a we're seeing, trees. yeah. But and I think. I do all kinds of trees. I do birch trees, don't have any right now, but uh, I do very a lot of imaginary trees, my dancing trees, you know. So, and then you're not, this is all natural, like this is the color of yes, this, this cotton? The background is sheep wool, this is goat, it's mohair. Okay. And goat comes in the best grays and the best whites. Yeah. And my sheep whites are creamier and goat white is white white. And when you get the the fabric, or the cotton, I guess, or whatever, wool. wool, wool, yes, <laughs> there we go. Um, is it like more of, it's in a na more of a natural state and then you're making it look more like this? Both. Yeah. I get it in the natural state and I get it already spun out. Okay. Yep. And then tell me about sort of creating this woven. So you have so many different weaves that you're doing. Well, n not really. It's one long weave and it's in between my warp cords, my cords that go up and down. Okay. So I weave through those. Okay. And that's how it starts? You uh -huh. start with the up and down cords? I do. Yeah. Yeah. And then what about something like, let's say, that circular one? Is there challenges that come associated with changing the shape of it? Well, I do different things with my circular pieces, but most of my circular pieces have holes in them. And uh, sometimes I'll put a spot of color in the hole, mm -hmm. and sometimes I just leave the hole, but often the people that come in don't notice that there is a hole in the piece. But my thinking is their wall color out here is then also in the piece, so it relates it so well to the wall. Yeah. See, like this piece has a hole, but no color behind oh, it, yeah, yeah. so the wall color will be back there. And that's the tree of life when the roots come back up into the branches. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank I you. actually like the whole aspect, and I like the idea of like whatever your wall color is kind of coming through it. Yeah, it, it is a really good look on a wall, mm -hmm. you know, where you can have it out there and in there. Well, you talked about some of your other work. Do you have a website that people can go to where they can see more? Right, GloriaMcRoberts.com. All right, thank you so much, Gloria. You're very welcome. Thank you. Stay tuned for more from the Ann Arbor Art Fairs. Okay.